Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off the dishwasher's water supply underneath the sink. In this video we're going to show you how to change out the Maytag dishwasher bowl tine. It's going to be a very easy repair and should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at ApplianceParts.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new bowl tine. The bolt tine is located on the lower dish rack and it's used to change the dish rack from plates to bowls. The main reason you'll be changing it out is if it's rusted away. In order to change the part, we have to open up the dishwasher door and pull out the lower rack. When you're taking out the bolt tine, you want to make sure that you put the long tines in the up position. That releases the sleeves from the locking tabs and makes it easier to unsnap it from the dish rack. All you have to do is unsnap it from each end. Here's the old bowl tine next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. The new bowl tine doesn't come with the sleeves, so you're going to have to take them and swap them onto the new one. If they're rusted on or you can't get them off, then make sure you buy some so you can put them onto the new bowl tine. Now that we have the sleeves installed, we can put the new bowl tine in. To put the new bowl tine in, we're going to set it down just the way we took it off so the four longer spines are up and then we're going to snap it into the two holders once you have it in place you can move it up and down to make sure it's locked in place now that you have the part installed we can push the lower dish rack back in and close the dishwasher door now that you're done repairing the appliance you can plug it back in turn the water back on and give it a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.